I have been 100% obsessed with the Happy Home Paradise DLC. It's probably the best thing I think in my personal opinion to ever happen to Animal Crossing, but this is also content that's like, right up my alley. So if you have not had a chance to play or haven't heard anything about it, Happy Home Paradise is a DLC expansion pack for New Horizons. And what you get to do is have a little job, you get to go to work, and you build villagers vacation homes and they all have each individual cool little requests. And it gives you some suggested furniture and the more houses that you build, the more furniture that you collectively accumulate that you can use in the DLC. You also get paid um, because it's a job. No, there's a a ton of cool features that come with this DLC and um, I have some houses that I need to show you that I'm really proud of. Before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by Boxu. Boxu is a premium Japanese snack subscription service that delivers an original assortment of Japanese snacks and teas to your door monthly. Each month's Boxu theme is different with all sorts of new, fun, and authentic Japanese snacks to try. This month's theme was Prefecture Passion, and it includes a little booklet that shows you a little bit of information about each of the Japanese prefectures and where your snacks came from. Our last Boxu haul was gone so quickly. We absolutely loved all of the Japanese snacks that were in the subscription box as well as the tea. It was just, it was an awesome experience. If you're stumped on what to give a loved one this holiday season, why not Boxu? Boxu will surely make a perfect and memorable gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture. And for a limited time, you could enter to win a free free trip to Japan with a Boxu subscription. They will be picking five lucky winners to win a free set of tickets, and any US resident who is subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered. And who doesn't want a chance to win free tickets to Japan? I mean, come on. Use my code LISTTHELAST10 for 10% off of your Boxu subscription at checkout, as well as become eligible to win that free trip to Japan. Everything is linked down below. Thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this video, and let's Let's go ahead and get back into it. The first one that I have to show you is Lionel's house. And you might be thinking, why the heck would you want me to see Lionel's house? Like what's so special about it? Well, he actually asks you to build a bathroom. I'm not kidding, a bathroom for his house. He calls it the restroom refuge. And I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, I absolutely slayed, killed, destroyed this build um <laughs> but the outside the outside i didn't really do much to because i was just like whatever yeah i mean i regret not putting more effort into the outside here the inside is absolutely insane this was my first build with the partition walls and um you might be surprised to know that you actually cannot hang anything on the partition walls they are not walls according to animal crossing they are just objects and that's really disappointing to me to be honest um i just i want them to behave like walls i wanted to be able to like hang something on here but instead i just like threw a mirror up front i don't know i mean i think i absolutely crushed it honestly i not to toot my own horn but this is a very nice fancy bathroom the next Happy Home Paradise house that I have to show you is Pango. Pongo? Not entirely sure. Pongo wants a nail salon and I delivered, honey. It's perfect. It's actually so accurate. It's 100% a nail salon. Um, the outside's kind of uninspiring, to be honest. Like, I don't know why. I just, I haven't been super attracted to doing exteriors for the moment. Um, the interiors, I feel like, is where most of the fun is initially. I'm slowly starting to have more fun with the exteriors, though. You cannot tell me that this is not a nail salon look at that so of course you walk in and here's the little front desk right and then over here i was really disappointed they didn't have like any they didn't have like any little foot jacuzzis so i decided to use goldfish when you're playing the dlc you kind of have like limited items that you can work with it's not like a whatever you have cataloged thing you can bring situation and so initially i was using um tin buckets for this and then i saw the goldfish bowl and i thought score game over look at that that is so perfect for a little petty and then of course we have little manny stations I even tried to include like the most uncomfortable chairs you've ever heard of because I feel like every time I go to the nail salon, my back's hurting when I'm leaving. I just feel like it's like the perfect amount of clutter. We have like a little hand washing station over here. And then back here, I put like a little massage table slash like where you get like your eyebrows waxed and I don't know. It's accurate, okay? I think this is beautiful. I think it's time that we get to work 
um, start designing a home. I did see some cuties on the beach. Like, look, Aurora here wants a flower shop. We have Avery down here. He wants to be near lots of, <laughs> lots of rocks. Good for him. If it's in my home, then it better be pink for Flora. Adi wants a place where she can be the DJ. Um, we have this guy. I don't know who this is, but he, wait, what? What does that say? You know, it would be fun rolling a giant ball around. That sounds like the least amount of fun I think I could possibly imagine. You know what? I think I'm kind of down to give Audie like a sick ass little nightclub. Let's go. This screams DJ party zone. We're gonna do this one. Okay, we're here. I really like these big rocks too. This is awesome. DJ party zone. So exteriors have been kind of hard for me. This is literally the first time that I am able to use paths because I just got three stars on my island literally yesterday. I haven't been time traveling at all, so that's kind of been like the big dilemma here is trying to play the update in the DLC without having time traveled even a little. Ooh, I think I'm gonna give her a pink house like this. This is pretty. It's been really hard like trying to like make exteriors because I just feel like I'm missing out a little bit um, without having the pathing, but hey, now I have nothing to complain about. So we're gonna give her a little tropical paradise. It's gonna be beautiful, gonna be gorgeous just like her. We need more bamboo. I'm so glad that we can put bamboo on the beach over here. I never understood why we can't do that. To be totally honest, I think it would be such a vibe. I feel like Audie's nightclub would have a really cute sort of like exterior, very good for relaxing. Or should I, ooh, should I make the setting nighttime? Cause it's like a nightclub. You know, that seems very bold of me. But I kind of love the idea where there's some beds that are like chilling on the beach. Do, 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 do. Oh, this one is great though. The beach chairs with parasols. There's so many, I kid you not, so many excellent, perfect items. Things like I didn't even know that I needed or wanted. It's all here basically. I have no reason to complain ever again. And then we should put a little drink on top of that stool. Orange end table, that's cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we gotta have lights going all the way up to our nightclub. Just kind of throw these all around. I really like doing cool builds like this with the Happy Home Paradise DLC because I don't know if I would have ever made a nightclub in Animal Crossing if this wasn't a prompt right now. I don't know, maybe I just um, am too much of like a cottagecore queen, but I just really feel like I typically don't do stuff like this. I love this log fence because this was the Harv's Island fence before. Everybody had it like hacked in and then Nintendo Nintendo patched it out because they suck um, and they just brought it back. They should have just honestly called it Harv's Fence instead of Log Fence. I'm feeling a little bit like I just want to move on to the inside. So let me just wrap this up really quickly. Okay, this is the walk up to Adi's nightclub. Let's go. I'm more so excited to do the interior. Let's be honest. I am thinking this room is not big enough. Not at all. Make it huge and ginormous. No, not that big. I don't think I have the wherewithal to decorate that much stuff right now. Typically, I feel like I don't start with a wallpaper and a floor, but I do kind of feel like that's gonna like make or break the vibe in here. Party flooring, um, loud flooring, club flooring. Whoa, that is sick. I really like that. Club wall. Oh my God, that is really fun. We can change the lighting, but I think I'm gonna wait for a second because I just kind of want to get started on this whole like DJ thing. Um, Disco ball, oh, easy mode. We definitely need one of those. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle of the room. I feel like that is a good move here. It would be really cool to make like a bar. We have this side of the room, I guess, sort of for like dancing and then over here, I think maybe I'll just put like a little bar. I did just build the cafe, so I got these really cool counter items in my repertoire here. What's really great about the DLC is that you don't have to really bring anything to play it. You don't have to have progressed very far in the game to obtain these items either. It's like separate. You're able to get these items in your game. However, it's not required to have gotten these items in your game, which is significantly harder in order to use them in the DLC. So it kind of all works out perfect. Okay, so we got natural wood, all these fun things. I think, ooh, yellow and black. Oh yeah, I didn't know what this was for the longest time. What do I do with you? Also, another really cool thing that you can do is accent walls. You know what would be sick? Maybe like a little 
brick accent wall or something. Server room wall, that's kind of avant-garde, don't you think? Ooh, cityscape wall, oh, that is kind of cool. That's a cool idea, actually, I really like that. Can you hang things on this thing or am I crazy? Okay, so if it's up against a wall, you can hang things and it won't cover. You know what, I'm also kind of starting to think I need to just like do symmetry with this room. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go black. <gasps> Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Okay, yeah, so that's the back of our bar here. Oh my God, this is awesome. I think it's appropriate to have a couple TVs. There is like a TV menu item that's really cool. That's a hanging item. Wall shelf with bottles. Now we are talking. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I need to duplicate this immediately. Stylish wall spotlight. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, this is cool. Wall mounted neon lamps. Oh, I think this means it's gonna go underneath the shelf. Hold on, I do this in The Sims all the time where I make like a floating shelf and I put a little light underneath it. Oh, I guess it doesn't really illuminate that well. Maybe if the lights are off? No, it's not really showing up the best, but that's quite all right. I don't know if I am in love with the TV thing, but it's kind of like one of the best things that I've really got here. I don't have like a ton of wall items unlocked, so I'm just gonna say yeah to the TVs and call it a day. I think it looks fine. Maybe we'll make some adjustments pretty soon here, but I think this is looking pretty good to be honest. Oh, decorative bottles. For a bar? Yeah, uh-huh. Definitely need some of that. Um, a loaf of bread maybe for the club. Nigiri sushi? That is kinda sick. Oh, super premium. Never mind. Sorry, I'm mistaken. I do want the super premium. I'm also gonna put some little pretzels. Um, I feel like that's like a normal thing to have. We need some seating, of course. Uh, what is this cool chair? <gasps> oh, is that too small? The counter chair seems a lot taller. Ooh, okay, so we can have different color seats too. We've got blue, green, red, all with the same little base. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna keep it nice and colorful. Okay, I have these two little speakers in front, and then we're gonna do a little confetti blower, and then also, two pa speakers let's just round her out yup oh my god <gasps> that is so cool yeah i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put the effects rack back here with like this little record box because it's required because this corner is kind of just like here i can't really do like a whole lot with it it's very small love oh i love these crates too i've been using the heck out of them for restaurants and things of that nature oh we most definitely need to put more drinks on the bar too okay i also feel like there needs to be this little box sofa in here as well we're just gonna throw a little corner sofa back here and i'm just like a little lounge spot you know <laughs> something something i don't have a lot of room to work with here i really do kind of regret not making the room bigger and I could but that would be a lot of work magenta oh I don't know if I like that maybe we'll just do yeah we'll just do like a nice little classic white yeah I don't know I just <laughs> I just feel like it's necessary somehow to kind of like make it not so symmetrical looking a little side table I like the cool furniture too it is very cool a light a light is a good idea actually I'm gonna put a hyacinth lamp on it it is insane how many cool things we got with the update I I'm still in awe and absolutely shocked like because all of this stuff is such a dream um i feel like yeah some ramen at the club <laughs> oh my god that is so cool looking i love this okay we need a couple of things on the wall in terms of like lighting and things like that too this definitely needs to happen um so we're gonna do these boom right here we need this party garland stat it looks a little birthday party but i don't know it's doing something we could what is that wall mounted led display what is all of this oh my god that is so awesome <gasps> okay well nothing's gonna beat that jeez a little pennant no not a sports bar it's a club i think i'm just gonna put this and i'm gonna put another one here this lighting is a mistake and then we just need to fill out this back wall over here this is like the bar certification keys for the bar what else broom and dustpan yes for you guessed it cleaning uh i also feel like an exit sign is very important because it's always good to 
Um, know where your exits are anytime you walk into a building. Um, and no, I'm not paranoid. Okay, um, we also have to reevaluate our lighting situation. I'm turning the lights off. Oh my god, this is so cool. I would really like to do a hanging light, like maybe this fluorescent light. Yeah, just kind of adds like a little bit of kick, I guess. I don't really see it. I need a cool club light. That's a cool club light for cool club goers maybe whoa okay so we could do pink purple blue blue is fun green all of these are so good i feel like this is really solid <gasps> how gorgeous is this club you're kidding Audie, do you love it this is one of my favorite parts is this little cutscene that they do all right spent all this time building this just for me i'm so happy me too i'm very stoked with it <sighs> This is so cool. See what I mean? Like I never would have done anything like this and look how excited I am. Um, I finally have experienced joy. DJ party zone. Yo, this is super cool. I wish I would have added more like lighting around our little DJ booth. Ah! Oh my God, this is so cool. Wow, it looks so good. I think we absolutely crushed it with this one. That was quite the moment right there. That was an experience. Audie, this is honestly one of my new favorite houses. Not, I don't like it more than I like the uh, bathroom, don't get me wrong, or the nail salon, uh, but it still looks really cool. <laughs> Okay, this is the one. This is the picture. Let me know what you think about Happy Home Paradise DLC. Do you love it? Are you obsessed with it? Um, I would love to know all the dirty details. Don't forget to hang out with us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl. We are over there playing Animal Crossing Monday through Friday. Let's hang out. And then don't forget about Instagram, Twitter, and the Discord community. If you are in need of any 2.0 items, if you're trying to trade, please feel free to come join us. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so, and I will see you in the next one.